Hi everyone, and welcome to this brand new video. Today I'm here with an amazing little visual card trick that I'm pretty sure you will love. If you do so, as always, let me know by leaving a thumbs up on this video and of course a free subscription on the channel. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the performance. So guys, for this effect, I'll need you to touch any card you wish. Any card will do. In this case, let's say you want to use the seven of spades. We don't really care about the face, actually. Instead, we will do something with its back. I have here a blue sticker, and I will just stick it on the back. You can touch it, you can give it a go. You won't be able to rub it off. It is really stuck on the card. Unless I use some magic to slide it to the other corner. That of course does work, and of course you can still give it a go, try to rub it off, it will be stuck on there. We can do something else and make it disappear completely, and of course it is not hidden anywhere. Now we made it move from one corner to the other corner, so maybe just use one of the other corners too, just like so. And having gone through all three corners, one corner is still missing, so let's move it to there. And of course, you can still touch it, it doesn't really come off, and it is of course still your seven of spades. So please feel free to keep this as a souvenir. So guys, let me teach you how you can do this effect. Now for this effect, you just need a pack of cards and some stickers. Okay, you can find them anywhere. These are very cheap. That's the only thing you need. Uh, of course, instead of using those stickers, you can just draw an X on the card, this is gonna make everything even more impossible. Okay, so think about that. The only advantage of the stickers are the fact that you can remove them and reuse your cards. Now your setup is pretty simple. You will just need one card. I'll just gonna take this off as I don't need it. You will take one card and you are gonna pre-stick a sticker on it. Okay, and you are gonna stick it on the top right corner of the card. In this case, I'm using the mystery deck so I have here like those pre-drawn circles, which works pretty great with this effect, but of course unnecessary. So you stick it on there and you just place that card with the dot on the right top corner on the bottom of the pack and you're ready to go. You now ask a spectator to pick a card. You show its face. They can remember it, they should remember it. However, you will say that the face is not very important. You will do something with its back. You turn it back around you take a sticker and you stick it on the top left corner this time, just like so. You press on it so it doesn't really slide off. You can now have the spectator touch the card. As they're touching the card, you will catch a break above your secret card on the bottom of the pack. You transfer it to a thumb break and you swing cut the top half into this hand. What will basically happen is this. You will drop that card on top of the selection, okay? However, without flashing it, you will pretend to slide the dot to the other side. So that's gonna be the change. Now, some of you might already know this change. This is a very old color change, actually, just used in a different way. So again, you're here, have them touch it again. Now you move these cards flush on top of the pack as you drop that card on top. And then in a fluent motion, just pivot the pack Pretend to use this corner of all these cards to push on that dot and slide it over to the other corner. And now you have done your first secret color change and pretend to have pushed the dot to the other corner. And imagine how impossible this would look with an X drawn on the card. Now you will do the second step, which is making it disappear. The way you do that is pretty simple. As you're showing that this dot has slid into the other side, you will rest this pack on top of the other cards and just use your thumb to riffle one card, okay? And catch another thumb break like so. Now you will do the exact same thing, say watch the dot, as you do the exact same color change and pretend to lift it up. Now you can show it's not here, you will take these cards and place them like sideways on top of the remaining cards. This is an important step as you will now rotate this pack. 
and your motivation for rotating this is to show that the dot has really gone. You show it, now you grab onto the bottom pack and just rotate it, meaning the dot is now here on the bottom left corner. Okay, and this pack is again unnecessary as there is nothing with this. Now you are gonna do the third step, I believe, which is making the disappeared dot appear on top of this corner. And this way, instead of adding a card on top of it, you are gonna remove a card, in this case, the topmost card by catching a break underneath it. So you will do almost the same thing as adding the card on it, but instead you will just add it to the top pack, okay? And then just pretend to have placed it on top of this corner. Now you're gonna say we went from one corner to the other and then to the other. So one corner is left. As you're saying so, you can catch another pinky break and do exactly the same change you did before, which is adding this card to the top pack. So you go from here, pivot the corner so it basically covers this portion and pretend to slide it to your last corner. At this point, this is my favorite part of this effect. You place all the cards on top, meaning your secret card is now on the bottom of the pack, and this card is still there, selected two of spades, and with that card, supposedly on a different corner, but actually it is just their original card turned around. And again, they can't touch it, it won't come off, it might be next, so it doesn't come off anyways, and of course they can keep it as a souvenir. And that's pretty much the effect. As you can see, a very, very visual fooling card trick. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, let me know by leaving a thumbs up on this video and of course a subscription on the channel. That's it. I'll see you next time.